yet another uh, video blog here from Indianaka, Matt. Um, and this one is back on the topic of studying in Japan, which is what my this channel was originally supposed to be about, but it, I've kind of got sidetracked at times. Um, but yeah, today this video is very much about uh, studying in Japan and what to expect if you come and study in Japan at university or at high school if you're a, a particularly clever high school student and you manage to uh, get on some sort of program to study high school here or wherever. But uh, today I'd like to talk about the phenomenon of Japanese students sleeping in class, which any of you who come over it and study here and study in a class with Japanese students, you will experience this. It it sort of it blows my mind in general how Japanese people are able to sleep anywhere. And absolutely anywhere. They, you will see them asleep in the library, you will see them asleep on crowded trains, you will see them asleep, you know, in the park on a bench, you will see them asleep just about anywhere that do you know you they don't even have to be able to lie down as long as they have 30 seconds to close their eyes, they will be able to sleep there, wherever there is. Um, and so it certainly extends into the classroom. Now, despite the fact that Japanese university, it's widely accepted, is not particularly stressful or taxing uh, academically on the students. Once you're in, you're in, and uh, after the grueling process of actually getting into university, university life itself is not too stressful academically speaking. The rest of it, the social side of things, clubs and, uh, you know, extracurricular activities are extremely hard on them and, you know, they'll be out uh, practicing and socialising and drinking, whatever, every night of the week. And as such, they come into school the next day and they are shattered. And uh, so they will sleep in their class. For me, I still find this really strange and I get a little bit uncomfortable. If it was back in the UK, my attitude would be, if you're that tired, just don't bother coming in at all. You're better off staying at home, not coming into the lesson and, and annoying people, disrupting things. Come next week, find out what you missed from someone else. That's yeah, all good. And I think most you know, teachers, most lecturers would agree with that uh, view as well. Um, if you know, if you're, if you're that tired that you get, that you have to sleep in the class, and there's not much point in you being in there in there anyway. But here they do, and it's accepted by the teachers. You know, they will come in because they will lose marks if they don't reach a certain amount of attendance, and teachers do not complain if students fall asleep. I was in a class a few weeks ago. Um, it was a lecture by a Japanese uh, lecturer in English. Hence why I was there, and you know, half it wasn't. It was on something scientific. The Japanese students, they were first years. Their English was clearly not up to the level required to understand the lecture that this uh, this guy was giving, and so half of them were asleep, including the guy sitting from you know, a, no more than half a meter in front of the uh, lecturer. The very very first guy there on the front table just fast asleep, fast asleep, not not subtly or anything, just right there in front of him, just head down, you know, and the teacher does nothing. He does absolutely nothing, doesn't say a thing, just ignores it and keeps on going to the class. You know, if this was the, the UK, he'd probably sit down and scream in his ear or, you know, throw a pencil at him or something, wake him up, humiliate him in front of the class. But the Japanese lecturers just act as if they're not there. And I almost find that really uncomfortable because I would say that that's just, it's completely disrespectful to just fall asleep in front of your teacher. You're better off not being there, but the teachers don't and the teachers don't care. For me, you have to go one way or the other. If either just say, right, if you're too tired to, to stay awake during my lesson, don't bother turning up for it. Or you say, you have to come and you will stay awake and you will study or there will be punishments. There will be humiliation. You can't just say, yeah, you know, come in, it's fine, fall asleep in front of me. It's it's showing, for me, it's showing you're not in control of your class. The students have been completely disrespectful and it doesn't help anyone. That's, that student's not learning anything 
And, you know, on the occasion when someone starts snoring or, you know, if you're doing group work, then it just brings the rest of the lesson down. It brings the quality of the lesson down. But that is, that's, that is Japan, Japanese universities, Japanese high schools, wherever you go, it's the same. Uh, I get the impression, talking to my Japanese friends, that it, you're not able to get away with it so much in high school or uh, junior high school or wherever. Teachers will make you wake up, will make you study. But in university, uh, apart from, I think I've only ever seen one teacher. One teacher made a crack once during a lesson, sort of uh, about, about the sleepy head in the middle of the class. And the remarks went down like a ton of bricks and he moved swiftly on. Um, it's just, you know, students will sleep and students are allowed to sleep. I don't like it. I think it's uh, disruptive, but there you go. Not much you can do about it. But that is just definitely one thing that you will experience when you come to Japan. And if you find it particularly hard to stay awake during your lectures back in the UK or the US or wherever, then uh, you're in luck, you know. You can nap away to your heart's content and no one will say a thing. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll end it there. Um, you know, uh, keep commenting, rating, and subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next video.